Hi, welcome to my channel. I have a guest star today. This is Dina Potter, and um, she actually does these amazing t shirts that you see me wearing all the time. This one's hand painted, and you have the Kate Moss one on today as well. Yeah. Um, check Gina out. We're going to do a makeup look, so I'm going to talk you through what makeup I'm going to do on Gina today. Um, I'm all excited because it's the first time I've done Gina's makeup. <laughs> me too. And we met years and years and years ago. Um, Gina did a a shoot with me, a makeover sort of shoot, and I didn't do her makeup then because then I actually wasn't in a Bowman trained. I had makeup artisan, if you remember. Mm -hmm. it was yeah, it was intro. fantastic, yeah, um, really well done. Enjoyed it. It was good fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. In your shit yeah. Stuff, I always thought you were a model. I thought you were no, a model. No. But I think it's because Stephen photographed you so much and I see your pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Gina's husband is also a photographer. Yeah. He's absolutely brilliant. Does so Fashion Week, uh, Belfast Fashion Week. So you can check out Stephen Potter and uh, for his photography and of course my photography and Gina's these amazing t-shirts so they really are they so look cool. amazing I love them I love them I can't wait to get my next one Debbie yeah one. so great. good I've got another one coming <laughs> plus you do my brand rep as well so, <laughs> so I'm going to link everything down below for you guys I'm going to talk you through what I'm going to do now so I'm going to start uh, Gina has any makeup on <laughs> Still looks scary, but like it's not for her. <laughs> so we're just going to clip your hair back, Gina, and then I'm going to sort of talk you through. So you're not wearing any makeup at the minute, so I'm I am going that. to um, just prime your skin. So, what skin care do you do for yourself? What do you? I just do cleanse, tone, and nourish. I use um, the Pons to take off makeup off, and then I also use uh, the Clarins, sort of like a facial wash thing. And you have lovely skin. Yeah, so Clarins is really good. It's expensive, but. It's yeah, it's good quality and it lasts long, so I think it's worth investing in, you know. And what Clarins do you use? The, the I moisture? use the, uh, the Clarins treatment oil, Orchid oil, the treatment <gasps> oil at night time, it's fantastic. And I also use the, um, the facial wash as well. You have and, beautiful uh, skin. So it's really good stuff, you know. You really have. I constantly get still breakouts, so anybody out there that gets blemishes, um, I just always still get a few blemishes. Yeah, usually once a month. <laughs> no, it's well covered today with concealer and foundation. <laughs> but no, I've heard such good things. My mum uses the double serum um, oh, by Clarence, but it's about eighty that. pounds a bottle. Oh wow! Well. The the other one, yeah. the Dior, it's I think a little bit more reasonable. I think it's about thirty three or something. Yeah. So, but it's meant to be fantastic. A big time, just a few drops in your face, and yeah. it lasts for ages. So it's well worth investing in. I've definitely seen a difference in the skin since I've been using it. Well, one thing with me being on a Bowman train, she was so, so, like she just couldn't stress to yeah. us how important it is to always cleanse and tone and moisturize our skin. Uh -huh. And she also used to always say about the amount of people that would use, you know, baby wipes and things to yes. take their makeup off and just that they're full of alcohol and they're so, so bad. Uh -huh. um, so just, it's just important to prep. She did also used to say that you should go for a facial once a month, but you know, oh, right. can't really afford that. No, I mean, I love to, but... but I do the, the wee packs, you know, the, sometimes I get those wee, um, you know, just like the cleansing packs. Oh, I just um, Boots and stuff, yeah. and I would just do a wee treatment. That's a good every idea, couple of weeks. try that. Um, and of course, my brother, he likes it as well. Sometimes yeah, he does a month oh, that's pack good. with me. Uh -huh. He's a very natural male. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know whether Stephen would do that. No, he does. He uses does face, uh, facial cream. Yeah. Would he he's see your your blue orchid oil? Maybe you might. Maybe you actually going down a wee bit. Would he try into his skin too and looking after himself and moisturising? He, he, he looks incredible for his age too, doesn't he's, he? He's uh, 66 this year, but he's getting his pension now. He <laughs> so he's happy with that. He is in the state state pension, so he's quite happy. He's very very young. He is. Yeah. In his forties. Uh huh. You look younger right now. So you. I don't know what you used to do. You used to <laughs> Tinkerbell. I don't know. <laughs> Peter Pan. <laughs> oh. So, so what came up with the idea? I know you've always been an artist, and Stephen's an artist as well. Yeah. What came up with this idea? How did you? Well, just I was a secretary for thirty-five years there, and I thought uh, Stephen was been retired already from work, so I thought. I just take up my hobby again. I just left, left, and put, you know, job, full time job. Yeah. And I just thought I'd paint one. Uh, this is a hobby, and I put it on my Instagram page. And a friend in London said, uh, "This is amazing. Are you selling these?" And I said, "Yes." 
she's gonna order one uh, please and she paid for it so then her friends she posted it on her page and her friends saw it and then with London mm -hmm. like a bit of big and that was it to advertise your stuff it took off from there just that one t-shirt I did like an art deco thing a freehand hand painted an art deco design that's how it took off I got orders from Hawaii LA Canada everywhere so the little cushions and that's really a thing. So it's really taken off from there. I absolutely so love it. It's what good you fun. Do. Enjoy it. Better than working in office, that's for sure. I think it's the uniqueness though as well. It's yeah, lovely something that, different. Yeah. Yeah. Something that catches the eye and a bit unique is what I like to do, you know. So I'm just doing a little bit of um, gel in your voice. Um, this is actually the benefit of brow. It's called mm -hmm. Kabai and it's just a little promenade and we're just putting a little bit through your brows because you do have good brows. Yeah. You have really good brows. So it's just really keeping them in place. Right? Yeah. You sometimes get your makeup done, don't you? Especially the uh, fashion work. Not recently, I haven't. No, you're not just... at all. I love getting my makeup done, it's great though. I you get good ideas from that and you know, new products to hear about and you know. I think it's nice yeah. as well, it's sort of relaxing. It is, yeah. So have you planned your outfit for our next Belfast Fashion Week? Um, I haven't even thought. You've been so busy, I haven't even thought about, thought it. about it, but I'm like you, I'm just going to go to the first night. I might get a new t-shirt done and maybe you know wear it yeah. too, you know to it always helps to advertise your things as you no, can. So I'm going to prime your eyes, so that's just a little bit, I don't go over the top with eyebrows because I do think um, eyebrows are a little bit crazy now, I don't know if some people notice but like the real black and chiselled and sculpted and it's all about the eyebrow and nothing else in the person face, I kind of still like eyebrows to look natural and if you have got really good brows you just need a little bit, just even sometimes the brow gel through it and you don't really need anything else. Um, I mean, eyebrows are important to, to define your face, but you don't need them just to sit out on their own. So if you close your eyes, I'm gonna... This is um, the Paint Pot by MAC. It's a primer, so this is kind of just helping your eyeshadow uh, stick to something. So it kind of just acts like primer for the skin as well, but it also evens out your eye area, which is really nice just to, again, make your eyeshadow last a bit longer. So, I know some people would use concealers and things as well, but I've always liked this one. This colour is soft up there as well. It just evens out all the tones. A bit of a trick that I like to do, so I will put a little bit of Fix Plus on the back of my hand, and then what I do is I just take a sort of small brush and just wet it, and then this makes the colour really sort of pigmented. So basically just to kind of intensify it and it also helps it stick so we're going to pop this so this fix plus is just dear it's the fix but you would use your fix plus at the end as well you know mm -hmm. if you want to set your makeup but you can use it just to make the eyeshadow look mm -hmm. a little bit more intense and it also gives that metallic feel which is really really nice Can mix your foundation. Oh, right, and that. some people don't realise. So, say for instance, if your, you know, T-zone is very oily, yeah. you can use one foundation on that, and then you can use a different foundation oh, well, that's a good idea. on the side. Side, so it's maybe like a more of a dewy finish. So. Yeah, I use the tissue because sometimes there's a wee bit of fallout. Yeah, um, when you're doing your eyeshadow. Look up for me again. It's perfect. So I was wondering, how did you um, see them meet? Oh my goodness, it was a long, long time ago. It used to be a disco and there's now the Clandaboy Lodge. A disco in there, and I can't remember the name, what it was now. The George, that's what it was. That was about 33 years ago. I met him, I was just dancing, he asked me to dance yeah. and took off from there. And that was it? And then I got engaged two months after that. Two so months? Yeah, he just asked me to marry him two months after that. I said, so certainly, because I was obviously didn't want to be without them. And so I took off to Spain for a holiday for a week and then we got married two years after that. We had to sort of save towards yeah. buying our first home together. 
That's amazing. Just so it's like sink. love at first sight. Yeah. I think it was. He's a such a brilliant uh-huh. relationship with you. I thought he was Italian because he was still so, when I found out he was back on holiday and I thought, and he says, no, I'm from North Belfast. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, oh my goodness, good one for me. <laughs> so sometimes what I do as well, just to intensify, I'll put a little bit with the cotton wool bud into the corner because once you do this with the brown to get your crease area, and then you blend out, so you're just picking the corner there and if you look up again for me and then what I do is blend this all out so again because you're only picking up the tiniest tiniest amount and then when you blend this out then you can just close your eyes again so that's giving you that gorgeous sort of cat eye I'm going to do your eyeliner here. So I'm just giving you just a wee bit and then we'll smudge it in. This is the Kat Von D eyeliner. So it's kind of more, rather than being like a felt pen, it's actually like a little brush. Sounds good. So you just kind of brush it all off. Now, the one thing is, I don't tend to go mad and wing out and stuff like that. I actually think it's quite nice. Just a little bit of your black eyeliner along the top of your eye, just to define it and then blend it in. Because the smoky eye should do what it says. It should be smoky. It should be smouldering. Mm-hmm. It's so your eyes smoulder and look sort of sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Not sort of too <laughs> yeah. garish looking. Yeah. With a huge big black wing. And I think it's different if you're maybe like 19 and 20, you can get away with kind yeah. of cool. So. And you do suit the, the warm colours as well. Thank, Thank you. I love Cat Bondi. So, like so. with your eye shape as well, I have the Charlotte Tilbury pencil here. So I'm just going to use a wee bit of brown in your waterline, just to kind of bring out the colours. <coughs> so if you look up, this is a horrible bit tight lining mm-hmm. doing the waterline here, so look up to the ceiling. Achy! Done. So, I'm just going to smoke that out one more time and then we're going to clean you up and do your mascara. So I'll curl your eyelashes. That's another good trick. A lot of people oh. forget about curling their eyelashes. And as we get older, a lot of people's eyelashes actually go nearly to go straight. Especially if your hair is not curly. Yeah. If your hair is curly, you have the chance to be a bit like me and have curly eyelashes as well. But um, yeah. if your hair is naturally straight as well, you will find that do get straighter and straighter. So oh, curl them, puts that really nice bend and it opens them up. Let's try that. So a lot of products I use, obviously because I'm in a Bowman trained, I do have a lot of in a Bowman skincare, which is nice as well, the Dominant range, and also Senna makeup, which is what she teaches us with at the makeup school. Um, but then I have my own wee loves too, because obviously just as you're doing makeup over the years, you find things, and so I'm not just stuck to the Senna, though it is very good photographic makeup. Senna was um, used on the set of Desperate Housewives and it's still used in a lot of the films in America. And you've also just recently, you got the all clear again, didn't you? Because you... Yes, I had to have bowel cancer. Excuse me, um, I was 42 and I got to uh, do every five years for a bowel scan, colonoscopy you call it. And I got one done there last month and I got the all clear. They find one pop-up. Uh, and he says because of fine that will keep an eye on you a bit more often, but everything looked fine. So it was really but happy. It, was, it was okay. I mean, it was, it was fine. removed. Yeah, it was then they could do it actually yeah. in the scan. So no, it was everything was fine, and uh, that's me for three years okay. now. So thank goodness. Mm. It does make you appreciate your life and appreciate your health and yeah, think of things differently and don't try to you know sweat the small stuff yeah. too much. You know, you do a lot of work as well, yeah. don't you, with the cancer? And, and well, I was volunteering for a while, but I had to give it up because I was volunteering for age. I did it volunteer teaching. Computers with age and I for yeah. eight years, so I had to give it up because I was doing the other volunteering as well for Bowel Cancer UK. So I was doing that for a while as well, going to seminars and or you know, conventions and giving information to people yeah. who have, have cancer and helping making their people more families aware. and yeah, aware about it and stuff yeah. like that. And also uh, talk on Twitter to people who actually have got 
diagnosed with it, just the minute now I'm talking to one from ones online on Twitter and uh, on Facebook. But, um, I'm sort of getting back into it a wee bit now yeah. recently. I should do a t-shirt, did one last night for a girl, she's uh, terminal. Unfortunately she's only 25 year old, so I did her a t-shirt. Couldn't believe it, she, she, she followed me last night on Twitter. So I'm doing a t-shirt for her uh, on, it's like, like a car lager film. Same as my boots actually. She loved wow. my boots, so I says, what's the t-shirt you like? I love to create a car lager film. Yeah, so I just sent that to her and I'm happy. To those. I know. So I sent that to her and um, so I'm doing a bit of makeup and stuff. So I just sort of felt sorry for that character because she's into makeup. Yeah. She loves all that. So. Oh, she'll love whenever you put your YouTube account yeah. on this. <laughs> she'll be getting lots of hints yeah. and tips. Um, so. No, it is crazy. I think it is important though that um, to get things early though. Yeah, oh, definitely. Really? Yeah, awareness is so important. Early detection is important to do any, any symptoms at all. Just go and see your GP. It could be nothing, but it could be just the big colitis or something, like piles or something. But don't leave it too long. You know, yeah. go and see about it, which I didn't do, and I'm sorry about it now. But uh, you should definitely go early, as you say. Yeah. No, you're so amazing. You're so such a strong, you. strong and inspirational mm -hmm. woman as well. Oh, thank so, you. Thanks. Because I, I'm again very. Health is our wealth, and we don't appreciate things. I mean, I know some a lot of people are very money orientated and things, yeah. but I think just what does it what does it matter know, if you don't have your health? Yeah, you have nothing. So that's basically the most important you thing. To yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No, it really is. Any yeah. symptoms at all? Any kind of symptoms at all? I mean, even your breast or whatever. Any part of your body, you feel something is not right. Just go to your GP and get. Yeah. I mean, tests don't even hurt at all. They can give you things no. to calm you down. And I've had a few you know, lumps now. I've yeah. been very lucky. They're just cysts. So yes, they I automatically, well. they drain them on the spot. So right. every time I've been checked up, he's just going to walk the big mass of needle out. And yeah. <laughs> it's a bit scary. Yeah, <laughs> but um, done and dusted, that's it. But yeah. any time I have anything, I am basically not just to assume that it's a cyst. I have to get it checked out. Yeah. So I've actually yeah. had them drain twice now. Yeah. But I just keep keep, keep an eye on it. Yeah. 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 I think you're right. It's yeah, very, very important. Confidence. Definitely. Yeah. Look after yourself. And it's, it's scary going through all that, but <laughs> you, you just have to be aware now. And you can be, as you said, Dana, any age. Oh, any age, 25, 25, and she's terminal. She did a crowdfunding then. She raised £20,000 in two months to get this special uh, treatment to radiotherapy that direct, directs the um, chemo or radiotherapy right into your, directly into your liver. So it means they can just target what's actually spread to her liver from her bowel to her liver. So they're going to start that short shortly. I mean, it's amazing she raised all that money in two months from crowdfunding, yeah. you know, on Twitter and that. So that's her last chance, really. They've stopped to stop the chemo. It wasn't working. So. so if you look to your knees for me, I'm going to do your eyelashes here. And again, if you just focus on your knees, sorry. Look down for me again, I'm going to do your mascara. Well, you look incredible. Thank you. Again, if there's any mascara bits, just clean them out because we haven't done your um, foundation yet, so that's the good tip All right. about doing your eyes first. And then you can clean up. So I'm going to start now with your skin. So I'm going to use, um, I still love Una's uh, green concealer because I would use her green concealer underneath the foundation and actually underneath even any of my other concealers because it takes out any red marks and it's amazing for under eye as well. So Una developed this herself. It's like a kind of weird, it's not, it's not even like a blue, it's a grainy sort of tone, but just purely for you see a lot of these, I think L'Oreal have colour correctors and things now. So this is just purely for around the nose, so any red marks at all. Just put that on. And I used... Um, I did disinfect and wash my hands before we did anything, but basically we use the heat of her finger and just the ring finger just to blend in around the skin so that it sort of really settles in nicely. And then what I'm going to do, another thing that we were taught in makeup school was a lot of people put concealers over the top of their um, basic foundation. 
but what we have actually been taught to do is to use our concealer very much like a primer again and actually put our, our concealer on and then the foundation on top because it's given the foundation something else to stick to just like primer so I'm just going to put a bit of this in the back of my hand and go underneath the eye area so I'm going to go in this product is it online then or? Yeah, and I sell. I actually sell um, right. her makeup here. I'm one of the account holders, uh -huh. so if someone wants to buy, I would actually sell quite a bit of the green concealer. Yeah, because a lot of people, um, because you're obviously paying for the, you know, the postage and stuff. Yeah, if you order, and if you try to order Santa from America, my goodness, it costs you a oh, fortune yes, now. Custom tax is and terrible. Um, yeah. I think we've actually got worse. It's quite expensive for postage, but with the Brexit thing. Yeah, it's very expensive. Yeah, we're just going to so that was just a little bit of concealer under the eyes. Again, just any sort of brightness mm -hmm. So I'm going to do your foundation now. I know a lot of people use sponges and things as well and a sponge is really good because you can bounce it and dab it into your skin mm. yeah. but one thing that we were taught in makeup school was that the sponges they are quite hard to clean oh, right. um, and do hold quite a bit of bacteria so if you're doing one client after the other we are sort of told that the brushes are better because we can get them cleaner, really. You yeah. know, because I can give these a good wash out with um, virgin oil and very liquid and get them really, really stripped right. clean. Um, you can actually mix a little bit in a bowl and it literally, if you put fairy liquid and the virgin oil, mix it round in a little bowl, it strips your foundation oh, completely good. out. It's amazing for cleaning. Uh -huh. We do have a proper little cleaner as well, which is good with the... Get a lot of people asking how often should you clean your brushes as well. Mm -hmm. Honestly, at least once a week. <laughs> oh, right, I yeah. try and do that, try and yeah. remember, yeah. <laughs> in the ring finger and just uh -huh. even tap and blend you know yourself I know Gina you're very good with the creams and stuff but basically never ever like pull or, or touch around your face with any other finger than your ring finger because it has the lightest softest touch oh, right. and it's the most gentle around the eye area just to press in and make sure that we're really looking close so what I do is I go in with the cream this is cream to powder so this is your contour and you go in just really get underneath the bone structure find in the cheekbones and just sh shading the actual shape and then film it all over <laughs> so all you're doing is really creating that nice shadow that's all it is and because this is a cream to powder it melts into the skin rather than just sitting on top and then if you do a cheesy smile it's your blusher so it's just like the apples of your face and again it's that lovely little bit of life into your face again after me taking it all out with the foundation <laughs> so again i just like to highlight these three guys top of the cheekbones that little bit above the maybe the fringe on the way but and then just here because that automatically drops the jaw area into the shadow. These are great tips. So you don't have to go crazy on your jawline. You know the way some people get the bronzer and stroke it really on. I make a big stripe. By putting uh -huh. that little bit of highlight there, that automatically puts it into shadow anyway. So mm -hmm. right.
Oh, it's been amazing having you on. Thanks very Thank much. You. You're very kind of you to do this. And I absolutely love, I'm such a big fan of Gina's. I absolutely obsessed. You look amazing. I've got another one on the way, so mm -hmm. can't wait to see it. Good. Pleasure. for being Thank on you. my channel and um, I look forward to doing a lot more of these. I'm going to put a lot of the links below for um, the basically genus so that you can order these amazing shirts that she does. She does the short ones as well um, and so many, you have different stars and icons as yeah, well. Yeah, so many. Well, you have fun. Go to different ones. So I'm going to put the link, link everything down below in the video. Mm. I'm going to let, link her Instagram as well so you can check her out. Um, you can call the studio if you want to buy any of the Senna makeup and things like that. And check me out for the good workshops. That's what I specialise in as well. Um, it's been wonderful having you. Yes, thank, thank you so very much. much. I really enjoyed it. Thank so, you. We'll say bye. bye.